Hello, ich heiße Richard Edwards. Hello, my name is Richard Edwards. I'm a product trainer for Tech and Troop Door Solutions. And today I'm going to show you how to install our Kartec Garage and Sectional Door. We've significantly simplified the installation for you by implementing our new frame system. Less screw connections, less individual parts reduces your working time tremendously. Let's get started. Check the packaging contents and ensure all items are present. You will need the following tools for the installation. Before we start with the actual insulation, please check whether the delivered door is suitable for this particular insulation situation. Therefore, we measure the clear width and the clear height. We need a minimum lateral space of 85 mm on both sides. We need a minimum of 120 mm lintel height. For bigger doors, we need 140 mm. For hand-operated doors with an outside handle, we need a minimum of 240 mm. For bigger doors with an outside handle, we require a minimum of 265 mm. In order to ensure that the door will be installed evenly, you must check the floor level. You may use a spirit level, water tube level or a laser. You may also, as described in the installation manual, assemble the vertical frames and the head trim on the floor. However, painted frames may get scratched on the outside. A little tip from me, fix the head trim with a mounting device into the opening and now all you have to do is place the vertical frame in front of the opening. Ok, now we align the frames. Please consider the meter level. Once one side has been fixed, you can level up the other side with the spirit level. And now we center the frame in the opening and secure the frame. Now we can put the mount device aside and the frame can be fastened. Put the retaining brackets into the vertical frame. You won't need any retaining brackets for all the smaller doors under 70 kilos. And for the doors over 70 kilos, all you need to do is to clip the retaining brackets into the frame without any further fastening. Doors with a width of more than 3 meters, you need an additional fastening on the head trim. And then you mount the guiding rails onto the vertical frame. Now connect the crossbar with the guiding rails. You need this U-profile for stability. Once you've done that, the springs, cables and plastic holders can be inserted. We from TechnTube always use at least two springs per side. Bigger doors may need up to four springs each side. Now you mount the guide roller, sleeves and the bolts and then secure them with this spring pin. As for the redirection, please ensure that the right goes on the right side from the inside and the left on the left side. And now place the cable behind the redirection. It's easy to put the cable through one by one. Now insert the plastic sliders. The first slider goes all the way to the top, approximately 10 mm from the front, and the second one 10 mm from the bottom of the spring. The remaining sliders have to be equally centered. OK, make sure the cables are not twisted and spray the spring duct with some grease. Mount the cover now. Best is to position the front first. Mount the spring duct bracket for more security. You have two brackets per side. And then raise the frame. Mount the curved rail on both sides. Doing this, you need to make sure that the joint connectors are smooth.
Now align the guidance rails. As you've already slid the U-profile into the back crossbar, extend it. This will make it a lot easier to measure the diagonal. The diagonal fits and now screw the suspensions onto the guidance rails. Good thing about the new frame is that instead of three suspensions, you only need two. Now prepare the door sections for the insulation. Place the sections into the opening. It's important that when you screw the centre hinges that you lift them up a bit. It's important to adjust the sections immediately when placing them in. Now release the seal. Therefore, place two wooden blocks under the roller retainers. This way it will be easier to lift the door up later on. It's important to leave a minimum of 0.8 mm under the sections. That's what these red spaces are for. OK, attach the cable onto the bottom section. The door has to stop in every position. If you notice that the door is not spring balanced, you can adjust it here on the frame. And I will show you just how easy that is. If the door comes down too fast, we need more spring tension. This is how we adjust it. Simply hang it into the next following slot. And then you mount the door driver. The door is ready for use. We are happy to help in case of any further questions or if you'd like to place an order.